our guide for BTEC and beyond. Today, I learn about the capacitance calculation. Capacitance of a three phase double circuit line with unsymmetrical spacing. Unsymmetrical spacing. This unsymmetrical spacing is also called flat vertical spacing, also. Flat vertical spacing. Okay. Transposed. Unsymmetrical spacing transposed. Okay, now we'll take the inductors. Is the conductor's arrangement for flat vertical spacing. Okay, this is arrangement of conductors for three introverts. I'm taking three introverts. This is first interval, second interval, and third interval. Okay. Now the conductors are A, B, C. The position is one, two, three. This position is also one, two, three. Now these three are A, B, C. It is A dash. B dash, C dash. For second interval, A at position 2. A, B, C. For position, second interval, A dash at position 2. B dash, C dash. For third interval, A at position 3. B at position 1. C at position like that for third interval a dash b dash c dash this is the way the conductor will change its position for interval 1 interval 2 and interval 3 now we will discuss the flux linkage of conductor a at interval 1 At interval one. Okay, this is the conductor's arrangement at A at position one. Now, now we will calculate. The potential of conductor A to P at from conductor A. It is the distance from these two conductors. This is from these two conductors. This is these two conductors. Now the distances are here it is L, here it is M. This distance is N. The radius of each conductor is this is diameter. Okay. Now the voltage, the voltage, the voltage of conductor A P E at position 1 is 1 by 2 pi epsilon. The charge of A is Q A, A dash is also Q A. First I am writing A and A dash. It is Q A L N 1 by D A plus Q A 
ln 1 by d a to a dash plus next p and b dash terms the effect of voltage potential difference between a and b due to b and b dash the charge of b is q b the charge of q b d s is also q b therefore q b ln 1 by d a b plus q b ln 1 by d a d dash plus the charge of c is q c d dash is also q c therefore q c ln 1 by d c a plus q c ln 1 by d a d dash okay now d dash from this diagram we have to write the distances to pi epsilon to a ln 1 by d a a distance the a to a distance is nothing but the self distance is r plus q a ln 1 by a to a dash distance the a to a dash distance is n therefore it is n plus q b ln 1 by a to b distance a to b distance is d therefore it is d the vertical distance is d okay q b a to b distance is d plus q b ln 1 by a to b dash distance what is a to b dash distance the a to b dash distance is m therefore it is m plus q c ln 1 by the distance from a to c the distance from a to c is the distance from a to c is this is d this is also d d plus d it is 2d therefore it is 2d plus q c ln 1 by the distance from a to c dash it is l therefore it is l now from this equation you can write it as v a equals to 1 by 2 pi epsilon q a ln 1 by or this is ln of a plus ln of b you can write it as ln of a into b or into n plus q b ln 1 by this is also ln of a plus b ln of a plus ln of b ln of a into b it is d into m plus q c ln 1 by this is also ln of a plus ln of b ln of a into b it is 2 d l this is the voltage of a at one position now now i have to calculate per second interval per second interval per second interval What second interval have to calculate v a 2 equals to 1 by 2 pi epsilon 2 a ln observe the previous equation here this is yeah, directly i am writing the equation it is d a a it is d a 2 a dash it is d a b this is d a p dash this is d a c this is d a c dash we can denominator terms is product of these distances directly i am writing for this case okay for this case 1 by 2 pi the distance from a to a is r the distance from a to a dash is l therefore 
r into l plus q b l n 1 by the distance from a to b is d the distance from a to b dash the distance from a to b dash is this is m therefore this distance is also equal of this these two distances this one is also m therefore it is d into m plus 2c ln 1 by a to c distance is d a to c dash distance is m okay therefore it is also d into m next a at position 3 for a at position 3 we have the current conductor arrangement for third interval this one For third interval, it is 1 by 2 pi epsilon 2a ln 1 by the distance from a to a is r, therefore r, the distance from a to a dash is n, therefore r into n. Okay, here this two distance is equals to this two distance. Okay, keep in mind this distance equals to this distance, it is n. Now, plus 2b ln 1 by a to b distance. a to b distance is d plus d 2d. Okay, this distance is 2d. For 2d into a to b dash. a to b distance is l plus qc ln 1 by a to c distance is d. a to c dash distance is m. Therefore, the average potential difference of conductor A is 1 by, sorry, is VA1 plus VA2 plus VA3 divided by 3. It is, add these three equations, add these three equations. QA ln of A plus ln of B plus ln of C ln of A into B into C. Here Rn into Rl into Rn we can get R cube n square L. Now multiplication of second QB terms dm into dm into 2dl. What you get 2d cube m square L. Next QC terms 2DL into DM into DM you can get QC terms or 2D cube M square L. The substitute here you can get 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 pi epsilon 2 2A ln 1 by R cube R cube n square l plus 2b ln 1 by 2 d cube m square l plus qc ln 1 by 2 d cube m square l observe sorry okay observe here qb terms and qc terms are same therefore it is 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 pi epsilon into 2a ln 1 by r cube n square l plus 2b plus qc into ln 1 by 2d cube m square l. Okay, here observe 2a plus 2b plus 
qc equals to 0 from this qc plus qc equals to minus qa substitute here assume qa plus qb plus qc equals to 0 now it is equals to 1 by 3 1 by 2 pi epsilon into qa ln 1 by r cube n square l minus qa ln 1 by 2 b cube m square l it is ln of a minus ln of b you can write it as ln of a by b therefore finally what you get the v a equals to 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 pi epsilon QA if you come in QA ln 2 d cube m square l divided by r cube n square l. This equation l get cancelled. Finally, what you get VA equals to a equals to 1 by 3 1 by 2 pi epsilon 2a ln 2 d cube m square divided by r cube n square okay here bring this root 3 under ln you can get 1 by 3 sorry it is 1 by 2 pi epsilon 2a ln 2 power 1 by 3 d by r m by n power 2 by 3 okay now the capacitance of conductor a c a equals to 2a by v a substitute v a here you can get 2 pi epsilon divided by ln 2 power 1 by 3 d by r m by n power 2 by 3 parrot per meter or same equation you can write 10 power minus 9 divided by 18 ln 2 power 1 by 3 d by r power sorry d by r m by n power 2 by 3 farad per meter here want to calculate the capacitance of phase conductor c phase c phase equals to 2 into c a therefore it is 4 pi epsilon divided by ln 2 power 1 by 3 d by r m by n power 2 by 3 or 10 power minus 9 divided by 18 ln 2 power 1 by 3 sorry it is not ln it is or can write the same equation or 10 power minus 9 divided by 9 ln 2 power 1 by 3 d by r m by n power 2 by 3 parrot per meter or you can write 10 power minus 9 divided by 18 ln 2 power 1 by 6 d by r power 1 by 2 m by n 1 by 3 Parrot per meter. You can use any one formula for calculating the capacitance of phase conductors. You can use this formula or this form. Now we will solve one problem. One problem on this. The problem is calculate calculate capacitance for phase of a c phase double circuit line c phase double circuit line with unsymmetrical 
फुल्ली ट्रांसपोस्ट फुल्ली ट्रांसपोस्ट लाइन टोन इन फिगर टोन इन फिगर नाउ द गिवन दिस लाइन डायग्राम फ्लैट वर्टिकल स्पेसिंग this distance is 6 meters and this distance is 2.5 meters and diameter of the conductor is 1.5 cm okay according to this l equal to 6 meters d equal to 2.5 meters small d equals to 1.5 cm from that you can calculate Or equal to one point five divided by two zero point seven five centimeter. Now the D L you know, but what about M? M equals to six plus two point five square. Six six square plus two point five square. Therefore, M equals to root of six square plus two point five square. You can get six point five meters, and N equals to n equal to 6 plus this to 2.5 plus 2.55 therefore n equals to this is 6 and this is 5 therefore root of 6 square plus 5 square we can get 7.81 meters if you convert this one in centimeters 650 centimeters and 781 centimeters So calculate the capacitance for phase. C phase equals to C phase equals to 10 power minus 9 divided by 9 ln 2 power 1 by 3 d. D is 250 divided by R 0.75 m. M is 650. N is 781 power 2 by 3. Carat per meter. How much you can get? It is zero point zero one microfarad per kilometer. Can calculate this one. You can get zero point zero one. If you take more digits, it is zero point one zero point zero one eight eight microfarad per kilometer. One eight eight microfarad per kilometer.